Oh, no, it's not set to record my live recording. Okay. Uh, this is StarsCast, also known as Natalie, and I have with me today Stars JC, and we're going to talk a little astrology as we test out this new mode. And, you know, Natalie loves new modes. <laughs> but anyways, um, <laughs> uh, and she's laughing right now. But first I want to tell you about mysticlivingtoday.com. I'll be accepting submissions of all kinds, poetry, excerpts, press releases, articles, uh, you know, I have an artist in there right now. I'm trying to get two other people. I really, one is a photographer in France and the other one is in China. And he does these little miniature things like miniature frying pans and all of that. I'm trying to get him in the magazine. But sometimes, you know, people in other countries, they kind of hold back to think, oh, what, what's going to happen? Why do I do want to do this? You know, but anyways, I'm still working on that. And of course, I have stars with a Z psychics.com. And we all know that. That's the uh, the newest baby. Uh, it's not over nine years old now. And please come and visit. I have so many advisors, all different kinds of modalities. They do so many different things. Astrologers. Uh, I have mediums. I have tarot card readers. I have cardomancy readers, um, channelers, those that uh, like to connect with the angels and all of that. And first time uh, people, uh, first three minutes is free. And with that, I'm going to bring in Star JC. How are you, Star JC? I'm fine, Natalie. The um, the weather up here is atrocious in northern New Jersey. We uh, we've had several inches of snow, like up to my knees, and more snow coming Thursday. But I'm going to have to go dig into my astro meteorology books and see why this winter has been so crazy yeah yeah but that's, now we've it's got, nice here it's, see, like one. i said you know earlier jackie uh jc that uh, it's really nice here it's sunny but it was raining a lot and cool you know we get that here in south carolina but i don't miss the snow everybody knows i'm originally from detroit and uh, oh i guess they're getting hit too right they're getting hit and have you heard about texas they had so much snow and so much cold that the wind turbines that produce their electricity have frozen, and they're yeah. having blackouts because of that. I saw that. Oh, my this gosh. Is, yeah. Yeah. This is insanity. And I'm Not hoping that. that with five five planets in Aquarius, things are going to get better. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So, where is the sun? The sun is in Aquarius right now, correct? The sun is in Aquarius. Next to it is Venus in Aquarius. Then Jupiter in Aquarius. Then Mercury in Aquarius. And then oh. Saturn in Aquarius. Okay. That, that, all happens, my dear, is, that all happens over a period of time, correct? All of these other planets go into Aquarius, right? They're in Aquarius right now. They have all made it in there. Oh. Now, the only holdout about- right right now of that of that lineup is Pluto. He's still sitting solidly in Capricorn. <laughs> we all know what Cappies are like. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. JC reminded me, you know, my son is in Capricorn. She says it's like the little goat that keeps climbing up that mountain, keeps climbing. All may stop for a few, but then keeps climbing again. They never stop and they never give up. Uh, and uh, exactly. you're a Cappy, so you know. I have is something, fortunately, that you don't have as much of, and that is a desire for everything to be exactly in its place. You can open my refrigerator, and all the labels are facing forward. My my sons used to tease me. Mom, just put the, the milk in the refrigerator. No, I have to turn it so you can see the label. <laughs> Oh, my God. I didn't know that about you. Oh, I just throw everything in, but, you know, I'm a Sag, so they're sloths. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, well I re- you know, they, I re- they are. They really, really are, and, and I shouldn't say that, say that they're sloths, but um, those kinds of things don't bother me. Now. Huh? Sagittarius, Sagittarius are so busy doing life that turning jars around so that the labels are facing front are just nothing to them. Absolutely nothing. They will 
my both of my sons are sages, and I remember my youngest son getting himself dressed one morning, and he came to me so proud. He had dressed himself, and he had on checkered pants and a striped shirt that screamed at each other and a tomato orange jacket, and he had one red sock and one green sock. <laughs> but he oh was dressed. <laughs> I don't think I'm like that. He was also four years old. He yeah. was four yeah. years old. <laughs> oh, wow. But, you know, see, like, so with, with me, me J- oh, JC, I like to wear the same thing over and over again. I'm not a, you know, I'm not a fashion plate. I'm not a woman that has to look a certain way. Not at all. I, I, I like to be comfy. I like to look good, you know, but I don't know. Is that's that a your, Sagittarius that's trait? Cap- no, Capricorn. Remember, oh. your rising sign is like the front door on the house of you. Ah, uh, yeah. And what how other people, how how other people is, see you. What color the door is, what it looks like, that's your rising sign. So you are very simple in your choices. Yes. But you have a Leo you have a Leo moon, so I'm sure that those simple choices are well put together. Yeah, I won't, I, I won't I, go and I, put yeah. You're you're yeah. not the, you're not a slob. <laughs> no, and you know, I won't put like if it doesn't look good together, I won't wear it. Uh, you're right about that. Uh, but it doesn't have to be, you know, uh, fancy names or anything like that. No. Matter of fact, I have these uh, shoes. They're like tennis shoes, you know. But but they're different. They're a rainbow color. Uh, they've got a blue, a purple, and like a red. And my granddaughter always teases me. She says, "When are you going to get different shoes?" And I said, "Well, I like these." And then we'll go someplace, and somebody will say, "I really like your shoes. I mean, they're comfortable. They're orthotics, and." They're good, you know, but see, to her and to most people, they probably don't understand. Comfort is important to me. So, I you know what? Right. I'm, I'm jealous that you have those shoes. Those are kind of the kind of shoes I would wear because I have Pisces rising and a Pisces moon in the first house, and that sign rules the feet. And your shoes just sound so wonderful to me. <laughs> they are. Uh, yeah, they're a Bezos, A B E S O or A B something. And I got them at a company uh-huh. called a place called uh, the Walk Walking Company. And I went there because they have oh. orthotics and they have my size and my foot's very narrow. And but I have oh, to have wow. orthotics in them. I can't just go and put the shoe on and walk out the door. I can't. I have mm-hmm. a very high arch, very high arch. So, um, but I like them. I think they're sharp. Oh, I'll bet you do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I need a new <laughs> a new uh, orthotics in them, but I'll keep them. They haven't worn out at all. Mm-hmm. No. That now, sounds my awesome. Sh- yeah, they really are. They're, they have a tie. They look like a tennis shoe, but they're not really a tennis shoe. They're uh, what you would call a sneaker, I guess. Mm-hmm. And, but they're, sh- they're so cool. Uh, I didn't want just white or beige, or and I saw those and I said that's the ones I want. So I get a wow. lot of compliments on them. But my granddaughter says, "Dad, when are you going to get some different shoes?" I said, "I'm not because you don't understand how hard it is for me to get shoes. It's awful. I have to go to Savannah to get them, and I don't like that. So I can't just like go to <laughs> a regular shoe store or go to Kmart or Walmart or not Kmart, Walmart or." Uh, Target. I can't get shoes there. They just, they don't have my size. So. So well, anyways, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this stellium and Aquarius is an air sign. And it is very outgoing, very friendly most of the time. But sometimes it can get very into itself and just go off. Airy fairy, la la la. Um, it's uh, it's it's ruled. The modern ruler, I should say, is Uranus, and that is the planet of genius and sudden things happening and just being a little crazy. Um, 
and being a little off balance. But that's, that's, wait a minute, let me see where it is. Let me look at my chart. Uh, no, that's Natalie. <laughs> no, Uranus is now in Taurus. So it's, it's kind of a little quiet, a little more staid, but right now I would say that being in Taurus, it's going to be doing research, deep diving, especially with um, the, um, virus vaccines that are coming out, you know that the three vaccines that are here now are not the only ones. They're still looking further. So Uranus in Taurus is is helping that. Yeah, Um, you know, uh, talking about vaccines, Jackie, you know, the Johnson & Johnson one, I heard today that um, the, uh, you know, efficacy rate is not, it's, it's not like the other ones but it's going to cover more and it's going to protect you so that you won't get so sick you have to go to the hospital or so sick that you die. But it's also going to help the, the mutants, the, the, the mutations that are coming through, all kinds of weird stuff. But I don't, I well, don't know about that. Uh, that virus sprang up when um, we had several planets in Capricorn last year. Um, Pluto and Capricorn made us all sit up and take notice, but it also brought the pandemic. Uh, Back in 1980, when Pluto went into Scorpio, its home sign was when um, HIV AIDS came on the scene. Pluto of course, destroys to build up, but it does some scary things too. But it also makes it also makes us clean out the attic before the fire, fire marshal comes and gives us a citation. So yeah, <laughs> it does you know, some talked, good. That's true. I've talked to some people. Um, my one friend, and she said she's like cleaning everything. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, uh, I don't know. You're, I mean, I've been doing some things, but I mean, I'm not, I could line my drawers. I have all the stuff to line my drawers and all that. I just don't. <laughs> I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, the, I'm a Sagittarius, and I go, I go flip here, flip there, flip here, flip there. Um, mm-hmm. yeah, I do, I do. I mean, and to have to devote several hours to do the same thing, I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> Isn't that awful? <laughs> I hear you. Well, I'm looking at your chart with the (laughs) transits around it. And all of those Aquarius planets, that entire stellium is in your first house. So you are out there and getting recognition. You're putting yourself out. You're making people happy. You're doing structural things. But... Oh, that the stellium butt. is also stellium is also opposing your Leo stellium. You have yes, Mars, the Moon, Correct. and Pluto yes. Yes. in Leo. So what does that mean? But from uh, it, it means that you're going to be so energized. Um, I don't funny. look as at op- I don't look at oppositions as terrible. I look at them as saying. Hey, Natalie, pay attention right here. <laughs> Take a good look. Dig a little deeper. And I know you've been doing that the last couple, three weeks. I know yes. that because we talk regularly. <laughs> yes, we talk all the time, her and I. Yes, we do. Uh, oh. Jackie's my sounding board. She's one of my, one of my champions because I talk about my champions. You know, oh. uh, and then I have another one. Yeah, I have several of them, but Jackie's the one I usually talk to almost every day. We talk. Mm-hmm. I bounce things mm-hmm. off of her. What do you think about this? And and also she does all my my writing. She does the blog. She does the uh, the cards that are there, the quote cool cards that are in the blog. And sometimes if I have an ad that I want to do, she'll write it. I mean, she's just like she's like an ace. You know, I mean, you know, and I have to tell you something about her. You know, when I say, oh, um, 
what about this? I mean, in five minutes, I have it. Less than five minutes, I have it. I mean, that's our quick sheet. I try. Um, I have a background in which somebody would say to me, I need thus and so. And I couldn't just sit back and say, sure, when? I just have to work on it right then and there. And then somebody else would come in when I was in the middle of it and say, I need this like yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I would have to split myself between the two and get it done. (laughs) And that's exactly what you you got me well trained. Yes, you do that. You got me well trained. Yeah, but, you know, um, I have a, you know, a list of my advisors, we call it a BCC. Jackie, I need my BCC, and I mean, okay, hold on, and there it is. It goes to two different email addresses. She has all these folders. She's trying to teach me to do folders. Uh, you know, she has it all. Yeah, if she could color coordinate it, she would do it. She would do it. Yeah, but didn't, didn't you tell me you had color-coded folders on your desk? Yes. I have umpteen folders okay. on my desk. Now I'm putting them on I know, my... but... Yeah. Yeah. But as long yeah. as you've got some colors there, you know the red folder is for this and the blue folder is for that. I succeeded. Yay. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Well, you see, okay. your, your, Cap, your Capricorn Ascendant and my Capricorn Sun came together and made yeah. color-coded folders. <laughs> yes, yeah, the universe said, oh, okay. She can do this, but she, uh, really, you can do anything. I mean, I haven't, uh, there isn't a task. Almost. Cannot do. Almost. 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 You know, me, I'm like, I, 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 I can't walk on water, but I do have a map to the rocks. I have three monitors and all three of them are going. Oh, my I word. I have my live chat on one. I have love talk on the same one. I have my server mail on the center one, and I have my analytics running on the third one. And I sat here and I thought to myself, um, how did I survive with only one? One monitor. <laughs> That's the one in front of me. But, you know, the more involved you get with something that you're doing, really, I mean, you can minimize, but, oh, God, I mean, everything's down on the bottom, and you Clicking this and clicking that. I can, I can just go. Bob, you want something? I can go look it up and I can give it to you wherever you are. Uh, I love it. I, see, I like that. See, I don't. I, like I don't minimize. I learned a million years ago. You put your thumb on Alt and your index finger on Tab, and it shows you everything that's open, and you just tab over to where you want to go. Yep. And you don't have to minimize anything. Can you imagine my tabs? <laughs> Oh, please. <laughs> three screens, I have, no. I have one, two, three, four on the left one, and I have one, two, three on the right, and I only have one in the center one because that one is for all my mail. I mean, I can I can see what's coming in, and that's for my outlook. So that's, yeah, yeah. The, and, only, uh, time I, the only time I wish I had another screen is when I've got a bio that I'm writing for you for a guest. Yeah. And I've got to go back and forth between two or three documents. But my yeah. little alt tab works for me. I can bounce around between them. <laughs> Never fear. Alt tab is here. Now, okay, see, that's, I want to thank, that's you. My... I want to thank you for this today, Jackie. Uh, my star is JC. We'll do this again. See, this is important because people, I don't really have uh, somebody in-house, an astrologer, that will come on and talk like you. I mean, you know, I dabble in it, but you really know a lot know all that kind of stuff and I think we should do a show on it we really should even if it's only 30 minutes or 45 minutes we should really do a complete show on it uh you know I'll go through the sun signs and because a lot of people really might be interested in that we were talking about that on the site I really need to get something on stars uh for astrology but I mean you're like a direct connection you know, you're a direct connection. So we will do that. We will talk about that as we talk about everything else. My resume so, gets longer. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So anyways, okay, well, I will let you go. Thank you very much for uh, talking with me today. And everybody, don't forget, mysticlivingtoday.com and starswithazpsychics.com. 
and planet stars with a Z dot com. All the stars, because my name started off with stars cast. That's why. Back when I worked on a America Online, Jackie was on America Online too. Yes. Yes, I was. When we used to have. How moon. does it go? Reach for the moon, and if you miss it, you'll find the stars with a Z. Yes. 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 That's true. That's true. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, it's, and it's not like the Stars Channel on Direct TV. I came around before them. I had the name before them. Oh, you know I know. That? I know. I know. Yep, I did. As a matter of fact, I got it in 19, let's see, I think it was 1999 when I got, uh, when I created all the domains because uh, the man mm-hmm. that was my webmaster of them loved, he loved stars. He just thought that was the coolest. And that's what set mm-hmm. me to to doing what I'm doing, and I, yeah, I would never change it. No, I, I really like it. So, thank you, thank you. Kisses to you, and I will talk to you later. Love you. Bye. Okay, great big hug, great Natalie. Day. Thank you. And be safe of all. Just be safe. Don't, you know, <laughs> and I'll be back on tomorrow, uh, 1 o'clock. I have a guest coming from the United Kingdom, and, you know, they're five hours ahead of us, so here in the, well, here in the East Coast. And um, so we're going to have her and it should be fun because I can tell she's a lot of fun already because we're la- I'm laughing at her emails. She calls me her angel. And I'm thinking, <laughs> you don't know that I'm an angel. But she, I wrote her back and she said, oh, yes, I do. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> so we're already yes, you, yes, she does so and, we're not. She does, and so, she does and so do the rest of us. It's just you don't have wings. You have a halo, though. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Okay, everybody, have a good day. Take Bye-bye. Care. Bye.